Hi everyone and welcome to my sewing room. I'm already in front of the Solaire and I want to talk a little bit about updates versus upgrades. Okay, as I just said a minute ago, um, the good news is that Solaire has a new upgrade. And I'm so excited about it because, you know, they usually, brother, upgrades the top of the line. The Luminaire's gotten a couple good upgrades since it came out. Um, and they haven't done a whole lot with the Solaire. But now we do have an upgrade coming out. And I'll be honest with you, I have not got it yet. I went down to my work the other day and they said they sold a couple that they had. But they promised that the next group they came in that I would get one of the first ones. So I'll get my machine upgraded as soon as I possibly can. But there is an update. So an update is usually free. And you can go to the Brother website in order to, to do that to your machine. And it gives us just a little taste of what might be coming in the future um, uh, with the upgrade. So I wanted to show you first how to do that and then kind of give you a little taste of what it might actually include. So I'm going to move the camera so that you can see my screen just a little bit better. Okay, so let's push the screen here. Oh, it's going to warn me that my inverty has got to move. Okay, so we're always going to go into the settings right here. So if you push the settings button, it'll bring you to page one. And we're going to go through to page um, three of eight. And it says service count, total count, um, this is the number of my sewing machine. If you go to iBroidery, you're going to need that number. Um, and here's my version, 2.02. .02. So before when I checked this to see what it was, it said 1.51. Um, so I'm up, I've am i already updated my machine, but if yours says anything lower than 2.02, .02, you need to go to the, bro the Brother website and get the update. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the internet. And I'm going to put in the search support dot brother. And enter. And it takes you to this website here, um, <clears throat> which is support.brother.com. And... Um, let's see hit downloads and then it's going to ask you what um machine you have and i usually just put in xe1 that's all it really needs and do a search and then you see right here it shows you your sewing machine is the xe1 and it says not your product which it is. So it found the right one. And then it says select your operating system. And you need to put in that you have Windows. And then if you have Windows 11, if you don't have Windows 11, put in something else like Windows 7 or 8 or whatever you have. And then just say OK. And then it'll come in here and it'll tell you that there is a software update. And if your machine the new release date was 7.24 and the new update is 2.02. .02. So if you look in the settings of your sewing machine, um, like we did a minute ago, and you'll see that you don't have 2.02. .02. I do because I've already updated mine. But um, I had 1.50 at first when I first did uh, check this. So um, if you have 1.50 and you need 2.02, .02, then you need to download this. So all you really have to do is hit update software and then it takes you here and it says um, to read the notes. And this is just telling you that you agree to all their rules and everything. So I'm going to agree to and download it. And once I hit that, then the download starts. And it usually goes up here in the corner. Okay. 
I didn't see it go up here, but usually it just pops up here and it, and it starts to download. And then it says if your download does not start, automatically click here. So you can go there if you don't get the download right away. And then it tells you directions. The following functions have been enhanced. This is going to tell you everything that's going to be in your download. And then it's going to say how to check the software version of your machine. This is where you go to check where your version of your machine is. Um, you go into your settings menu and then you go to um, one of the pages, which it looks like it's on page three, and it tells you your version right there. So it's really easy for you to check it, make sure you have the right one. And then it's going to tell you how to transfer it to a stick. And I find the easiest way, even though the Solaire is, um, has the wireless and you can do it that way, I find it really easy just to do it with a stick. So that's the way I do it. So you download it with a stick and then you put it in your machine and then you hold down the threading button and it shows you right here, right here, that you're holding down the threading button while you're turning on the machine. And then instead of your regular screen, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. And then you push the USB stick button and it says load right here and you push load and it and it loads for a little while and then it comes on there and it says turn off your machine turn your machine back on and you're at 2.2 so it's very fast and very easy so when you once you've downloaded this and you've read the directions and everything then we can turn that off and then what I do is I go to my windows down here and I right click and I go to file explorer and then in file explorer you have your downloads button and then this is your download that you did that I just did there's the one I did the other day so it all you have to do is right click and hit copy right here this is copy so I'm going to hit copy and then I'm going to find my stick in my U and I don't have a USB plugged in right now, but in here you would have your USB stick and you would select that and then you would click right click and paste and then it would be on your stick. Make sure your stick is empty. Um, that doesn't have anything else on it at all. And, um, and then take that to your sewing machine and then do what we just read in the directions and you'll have the up, um, date to your sewing machine. After you've updated your machine, then um, I just wanted to kind of just show you. You will notice that if you go into your regular menu here, there's two new menus, 17 and 18, and you can't see them. They're grayed out. It's almost like a tease. It's saying, this is what you'll have once you do the kit number one. Excuse me. <coughs> The other thing is, if you go into um, Home, I go to My Design Center, then when you um, hit the Fill buttons, and you hit this part here, and hit Select, it's, my machine has been moving slower lately, um, and scroll down, there's more of these too and there's bunches of them so it looks like it's got at least three six nine twelve three three six nine twelve four i think there's 16 more i'm not sure 15 maybe so you've got a whole bunch of new fills in there but this is the part that i think is kind of exciting is if you go into the line drawing there's three new line uh, motif outfills and there's a select button so that means that we, can, we have more outlines that we can do and you know just my last video i talked about doing outlines for crazy quilting now we can do that with our machine um, in Design Center, and I'm really excited about that. So I think they're going to have some really great new things in the upgrade. I can't wait to get it, and then I'll show you exactly um, how that is going to work. But I also wanted to t 
talk to you a little bit about um, drawing in the design center. I've brought in pictures and traced around them. I've brought in things from the USB port and automatically turned them into an embroidery and then uh, uh, adjusted that. But what about just plain drawing right on the screen? I kind of did that when I did the fairy and I drew right on the screen with that, with a background image. But so I'm trying to do a table runner and in the table runner I had some blank nine patches that I wanted to put an embroidery in there and I didn't want to open my PE Design 11 software so I thought I could do this in Design Center and I don't think it would take me very long at all to do it. So I want to draw a pumpkin and so what I did was I went into here and I was looking at what I have um, available to me and there's not a whole lot of stuff that you can work with that would make a pumpkin. Um, and then let's go into here and there are some leaves and I thought oh well I might be able to do some leaves um, and here's some more shapes a little bear a rabbit a ducky and that sort of thing and I thought what about this one maybe I might be able to do something with that one so I said okay and let's rotate it and then um, I said okay let's see Let's duplicate it and let's move it this way. And let's duplicate it again. And this time maybe go this way. And that's, that's kind of fun. Um, so then and this is harder to do when you're not sitting right in front of the machine, you're off to the side, but because I didn't line these up good, but you get the idea. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the box and I'm going to select the whole thing. And then I'm going to size this and make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's move it down here. Now I need some leaves. So let's go into the shape menu and I have this one. Say okay. Let's um, rotate that. One of the things they don't have in here is they don't have a, a mirror image button. But if I go back into the menus, they have this exact same one going the other direction. Was this the one I picked? I can't remember which one I picked. That's the same one. Hit the scissors and cut that away. Let's go back into shapes again. This one. Okay. Let's rotate it. right there. Now to pick this one up I got a little bit too close to my pumpkin here but I think I can pull this off. I'm going to draw my square so I have the whole thing selected. And I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to zoom in so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And I don't want any of these straight lines. So let's, let's just, that's a good eraser. I'm going to erase the top of these. making a wobbly line here because I'm going to draw a stem. So I'm backing up a little bit 
And I think what I want to do is I want to come from this. Yeah, this is really bad. If I was sitting in front of it, it would look a lot better than this. <laughs> And make sure everything connects. Now let's do minus. So there's my pumpkin. I think it came out pretty good. I really like it. And it's just a running stitch. So I'm going to make sure that I have um, this chosen. And it's a running stitch. Say OK. And pour. And then... And hit next. What happened here? So this is not a continuous line because this isn't selected here. Um, and if I do that there, it's selected. So something is not right here. I've disconnected something. So I'm going to hit plus. And it's probably right in here that it, that it disconnected. So let's... move this back over here. Now the whole thing is selected. So that's good. That means it's the continuous line. And again, I don't like this. This is wobbly and it doesn't look as nice as I would have done if I was sitting right in front of it. Um, but I'm going to hit preview. And then set that down. And um, I'm going to delete that one. And go into my memory of my machine. And this is the one I ended up using in my quilt. So I thought it came out really cute. It's a really fast, fun quilting stitch that you can put on your quilt. So um, I'm going to go and get my table runner and show you what I've been working on. So most of you know I do so fun here at my work in Colorado. It's kind of like a presentation that you do that you make a whole lot of different projects and you show them and then you tell them this this um, pattern was easy or this pattern was hard. Um, this is what I did. This is how I changed it. And, and then we sell the patterns and all the equipment and everything that goes with it. And I'm doing it in September. So those of you who are here in Colorado, you can come and see me do that really soon here because we're in the, um, somewhere in the middle of August right now. And this is just a sneak peek at a table runner that I've been working on. And it is by Kimberbell. And it's a um, what they call a bench pillow. You make a pillow case and you put it on a, pill on a bench. Um, but I didn't want to make a bench pillow. I made it into a table runner and I just took the really cute embroidery designs that are in it and I mixed them all up and I made them into this table runner here. So that kind of gives you a little peek and you'll be able to come see that. That's so fun. Um, but these nine patches that are right here, um, I wanted to do something that on my Solaire that was just a simple outline embroidery um, quilt pattern. Most of these I did stippling on the inside of it, the writing down the middle I did a crosshatch pattern, um, but this one I wanted to do something different so I did that pumpkin that we just made and I'll kind of give you a little peek at it right here so you can see what it looks like. Um, and I thought it came out really pretty. I really like it. It's, it's a very simple outline design. It does go over it twice, but it's okay because it's not, um, it's, it's not as pronounced as you would think it would be in the pattern. So I really like the way it came out. So that was kind of fun, and I thought maybe as long as I was doing it, I would show you how I did it. And as I said before, when that upgrade comes out, and I'm hoping that we'll get it really soon here, I'm going to put it on my machine, and hopefully we'll have some new fun things to learn that we can do with our Solaire sewing machine. Um, keep coming back. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.